This is the 1995 Lures 35. This boat is outfitted with 2004 Twin Cat 3126s. Very low hour boat. And as you can see, she is just in beautiful shape. And let's start our tour here in the cockpit of this Lures 35. As you can see, the current owner has chairs here in the cockpit. And here's a shot with this cockpit wide open. As you can see, just plenty of space. And shooting the other way. And let's start our tour here in the aft. If we move to the aft, and we pull up here, you're gonna see very large fish boxes slash storage. Right now the current owner uses these for storage. And that will lead us to the port aft. And you'll see right behind the chair, your entryway door. I pull this chair out. You're gonna see there are the receptors for the swim ladder, which is stored there in the corner. And you just hang the swim ladder right there for ease and getting out of the water onto the boat. And if I move to the center of the cockpit and I lift up here, you see it will just give you fantastic access to all your aft workings. Nice and clean. And then I'm going to flip around and that will bring us to our large live well and cooler. And if I go ahead and I just lift up here, you're going to see it stays open with a, with a spring right there. And then there is your cooler. Right now the current owner's got some drinks in there. And then if I move the cutting board over, that'll bring you just to a mammoth live well. I mean, just look at the size of that. And also, if you're like the current owner and you don't fish, you can use this as a giant cooler. And then if I move over to the starboard side and I lift up here, you're going to see a great sink and sprayer. And once again, the lid stays up. And then if I move down below, pull out you're gonna see tackle drawers and this owner keeps just screws and stuff in there but it's actual tackle drawers and then if we move over there you'll see a small storage compartment and then if I lean down and give you a shot in the corner that's your fresh water wash down right there and if I move over here in front of the door there's a little step and I open up on this cover and it's going to bring you to your batteries, your battery switches, great access all around. And now is a good time before we go up to the bridge to walk around and give you a view of the bow. And if we move forward, bring us to just a huge bow. And if I flip around, it will give you a view of this new Sombrella windshield protector. And you can see this is like a clear fabric, so it still lets light in. And let's go back around and up to the bridge. And the first thing you'll notice upon entering the bridge is there's just a lot of seating to keep the captain company. And let's start here in the front. You'll see there in the front your remote control spotlight. Then you have your compass plus drink holders. If I flip around, you have a long bench seat directly in front of the captain and first mate. And if I go ahead and lift up on this seat, you're going to see just a lot of storage underneath. Right now he's got life preservers stored down there. And then if I flip around, you're going to see seating again, adjacent to the captain and first mate. And if I go ahead and I lift up here, once again, 
ton of storage underneath. Right now he's got it full with gear. And that will lead us back to our captain's and first mate seating. Just love the style of these chairs. And then if I flip around, that will bring us to our actual helm. I wanted to give you a wide angle shot of this helm so you can see how everything is laid out. And now I'll start showing you the electronics. Now this boat is fully equipped with electronics from two GPS's, a radar, uh, depth slash fish finder, uh, everything a captain's going to need to run this boat. But let's start over here with your Furono nav net and then moving over you have a North Star 952X GPS navigator. And then if we move further over here you'll see your standard VHF. Then you're going to see your upgraded stereo. And then down here you'll see your panel to turn your electronics on. Moving down below you'll see a second VHF. You'll see all your gauges plus your autopilots right there and then you'll have all your switches clearly labeled to run this boat and that is your helm for the Lures 35 and that will bring us to our cabin we open up this door and it'll slide into a latch and stay open and the first thing you'll notice about this cabin is it's a very light and airy cabin let me give you a look around And if we start on the starboard side, you'll see your galley is laid all along the starboard side here. And directly as you walk in, you'll see the flat screen TV is directly there to your starboard. Then up above these Corian countertops, you're going to see lots of room for storage. Then you're going to see your panel to run all your ship systems. Forward, you're going to see your microwave. Then if I come down below... You're going to see lots of Corian counter space. And then if we lift up on this section of the Corian counter space, you're going to see a two burner stove. Put that down, it gives you your counter space back. And then if we just move a little aft, you're just going to see a huge sink. And then more Corian counter space. And then down below, you're going to see storage. And if I open up here, you're going to see your entertainment system. Then if I keep moving forward, you're going to see drawer storage plus another cupboard storage. That will bring us over to our fridge. And then all the way forward, more cupboard storage. And then if I flip around, you'll just see a giant salon couch and table. And of course, this all converts into a massive berth. And now's the time to head forward. And you'll see there the entryway to the two staterooms and the marine head. And let's start here in the master stateroom. As you can see, it's got a very large berth. It's a very light and bright stateroom. And then if I flip over here... On the starboard side, and I open up, it gives you a very large hanging closet. And then if I go and give you a shot underneath the berth, you'll see you have drawer storage. You'll see your own private access to the marine head here in the master stateroom. And if we come out of the stateroom and we turn to the starboard side, that will bring us to our second stateroom, the guest stateroom. And as you can see, this is made up with bunks. And Lures just does a fantastic job of fitting in two closed door private staterooms in this Lures 35. And if we turn towards the aft in this stateroom, you'll see a large closet right there. Just really great thinking. Here's some wide angle shots of this marine head. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at these Twin Caterpillar 3126s. Now, the owner put these in new in 2004. Uh, just a fantastic engine package, very well maintained, and ready to boat this weekend. And now's the time of the video where I talk about improvements that could be made by the new owner to make this boat even better. 
Now, first of all, this owner is a pilot, so he really has put this boat in pilot shape mechanically. But in terms of cosmetics, what you're going to see is just a boat that looks very attractive. I mean, all the soft goods look real nice. The wood blinds are a nice touch. The walls are in good condition. Beautiful Corian countertops. But if I was going to mention opportunities, a good opportunity is you'll see the carpet shows normal wear and tear. I mean, at some point, the new owner may want to replace that carpet. And then also, up on the bridge, on this soft top, it keeps the rain off, keeps the sun off, but it certainly is showing wear and tear, as well as the metals that hold it up. It could use a good polish, good cleaning, but you'll see the metals just normally on the side there look absolutely fine. So, all in all, this sport fish is just really in nice shape.